Hello, and welcome to your mindful message with Lou Havens. And my name is Michelle, the other part of Lou Havens, and welcome back. So today's cards are Hammer and Nine of Chalices. So you heard Angie give the light perspective of these cards and some stories to go along with that. So today on the shadow perspective, we're going to be looking at that and some wisdom and a story involving that. And who else? We'll just play it as it goes. We don't have a clue where we're going to go. So today it's just really examining who you are. Like, who are you in the scheme of life? And when this happens to me, it's my, I need a connection to divine. I have now discovered Krishna and I've had Krishna in my life all my life. And it's very humorous and loving, but at the same time, I felt lost. And every time I felt lost, that's when I felt him the most in my life. And that, and so I'm going to share that experience with everybody where I felt I had no humor in my life and I just did not feel loved. And I was way too serious and lost in my life. And I needed a little kick in the ass. And of course he did that. So as long as I can remember in that as I'm 51 so and that as long as I can remember since I was a kid I've heard George Harrison's song and discussing um, my Lord my sweet Lord and there was a part in the song I always thought he was saying Harry Krishna and I'd ask mom like well, who is Harry Krishna and she's like I don't know who this Harry Krishna is but some about the song always got me in that and I still love this song too but I always played it not understanding but I noticed I would play it when I was being picked on at school or I felt alone and that. So I would play that song and I'd feel like this relief and this peace in my heart and that. And so you fast forward and that. So he came back again playing uh, Yellow Brick Road, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road when I had my car accident. And that awakened all kinds of different experiences and that for me, I saw light I saw uh, I saw my one guide Azra and I that was an experience that really woke me up to this whole spiritual awakening and just all my life when I felt alone I I wasn't alone and one particular time which was funny is where I live it's next to a farm and this was I forget how many years ago this was and Krishna has and like peacock feathers so I was always drawn to peacocks all my life I've loved peacocks not understanding the whole significance of that and it was kind of a bad time in my life my marriage was falling apart my kids we were all we were in the middle of just a very bad combustible situation and within this marriage and they were going watching their parents fight and there was like no humor and I just felt lost like there was nobody there to love me and so Krishna <laughs> reminded me then uh, there was a peacock that got loose from our neighbor's farm and was running around my backyard just perching and so we had called the police to see we want to make sure this peacock got safely home because we have coyotes and things and we didn't want nothing to get this beautiful peacock and peacock was very comfortable in the yard he was just like very comfortable in my yard so the officer came and he looked and saw the peacock and he goes all of us thought this was a joke <laughs> we just really thought this was a joke no, there was really a peacock. He said, I lost the my I lost the bet. So we think, ah, you lost the bet. So and it brought humor because it was so funny. And then just, you know, Krishna again, so and I got a real good connection with Krishna. And I it was every time I feel like I need just a validation that he's there, he's like, Oh, I'm gonna give you this validation. So I would go to so I've been to the psychic fair was in Sharonville, Ohio last Sunday with my son and he said I would bump into a teacher that could teach me and Angie about him and I said okay so first person that stopped me and my son was he was a monk his name's Abby the monk he is absolutely wonderful 
and he enlightened me on a lot of the things that I had questions on. And he couldn't have been any nicer. And Krishna had given me a name called Lila Rose. And I told him, I said, yeah, he calls me Lila Rose and he calls me a gopi. And I didn't understand the significance of any of it. He was in shock. And he goes, you, you don't, and he could see the light here. He could see it. And he goes, you can tell you carry the light of Krishna and Radhe, Radhe Krishna. And I said, well, so does my sister. And you know, he was shocked that two of us had that same energy. And, and I was like, oh, th thank you, Krishna. Thank you. Because he was always there to remind me, you're not alone, and I am funny. And, I'm, and he always gives me situations to, to bring up that's funny, so that I know he's there. And that, so, so, so when I'm trying to be, like, in my mood or my ego or angry, Krishna does something to bring it out. A peacock, <laughs> I mean, Harry Krishna, and this different things. You know, he, he makes sure that, you know, he that I know he's there and I he is there and that so it he it, so that's bringing in light when I thought I just want to stay in the dark and stay in this grumpy mood it don't benefit at all to stay in that grumpy mood so he's like no stay there get out of that so Harry Krishna that stuff Eric Mon so so thank you Abby the monk if <laughs> I absolutely adore him and I don't know he's great so that that whole that whole day itself was amazing but that was that's my story on getting out of my own funk by trusting the divine so what is yours you know what is something that could get you out of your funk is it the divine do you need to meditate do you need to watch like Burt Kreiser oh my god he is hilarious he has things on Netflix you know find a comedian Pee Wee Herman there, it, the list goes on and on, you know, Dane Cook and that. So these are the, you know, I lean on when I need something to laugh about. <laughs> and I just start, you know, and once you can get into a grateful mu mood, mood, <laughs> mood, and you start laughing and get out of your own way, things start vibrating higher. Because if you are in a low funk, you're, you're going to be vibrating at low funk and your whole world's going to express that because that's how you feel on the inside. But if you start laughing finding some joy or laugh at yourself because sometimes that's just funny. I do some strange things all the time and I just say, okay, that's the universe. Ha ha. And uh, at the Ohio Renaissance Festival, I was called a special kind of special. So me and Angie dub ourselves a special kind of special. We find that very special to us because <laughs> we are. We, we just, we're just wacky and zany. We absolutely love that. So, <laughs> so I hope that story helped everybody discover that I didn't pay attention to the signs, but when I look back through meditation, I'm grateful for seeing all the beautiful moments <laughs> where Krishna was there. And that, so we want to share these things with all of you. So if you have some beautiful moments, meditate about it and look back and then be grateful and thank the divine for that, because that is absolutely beautiful when the divine will share something with you that's so personal you know, journal it, make a TikTok about it, you know, because others would love to hear that. So I hope you, everybody enjoy today's message. Me and Angie love doing this and sharing our stories with all of you because we do have many in that. So much love. Remember, you are loved by the creator of the universe. You're so unconditionally loved. And maybe today I will, when I'm, I spell unconditionally correct and not hashtag it the wrong, that's also very humorous. So yeah but uh so join us tomorrow for another oracle read and a mindful message so we can give you all around how to live how to be go through your spiritual awakening with a smile and you be your own special kind of special me and angie are our own brand of special kind of special so be your brand of special kind of special because that's what we are we love it we're great we love that much love see you tomorrow